Hi guys, I think I'm going to do Vlogtober. Although it's a lot of editing and a lot of work making sure that you uh, get your camera out all the time and uh, video interesting things, um, I think it is um, necessary <laughs> to get me to refocus on getting the camera out. Um, I've lost my focus um, and there's been lots of interesting things that I haven't vlogged. So um, come on this journey with me in October and maybe that'll help me get refocused. Look at this spider. Well, if Darcy wants to get the bus, she has to leave at 7.50. <laughs> it with rain as well so I have a feeling that I'm going to be taking her to the station I mean school on my way to the this I can't talk on my way to the station because I'm going to work in London so um, as I'm going to have to wait a little bit I think I'm going to have some more breakfast I've made a big pot of coffee <clears throat> so there's some more coffee and Tarsi would like some coffee in her flask and I'm going to have another slice of toast I've already had one and this is my favourite bread at the moment. So I'm just going under the bridge at Isha Station and You'll see from my vlogs from about a year ago that I used to always go from Isha but I've got into the habit of going from Surbiton because you can use your Oyster card from Surbiton so, and it's much easier parking and stuff and there are more frequent trains. So I've dropped Darcy off already and I'm heading to Surbiton. traffic island is called the Silly Isles and uh, around the UK there's a group of islands called the Silly Isles. When we first moved here from Scotland I just thought that was so bizarre that um, a traffic junction was called the Silly Isles as well but there you go, there's a fun fact for you. It's gone all dark. Doors closing. Doors closing. So I've had a successful morning so far and um, it looks like it's going to turn out really well and now I'm just popping out with the others to a little Italian place for lunch, a place that we go to Brand regularly. Floor.
can everybody come closer because the bus is moving up and down so just for your safety if you can come closer home that was a beautiful sunset don't know if I've managed to catch it on camera um, the creepers and trees are turning beautiful colors um, I think Darcy might have started to cook spaghetti bolognese which would be very nice but also um, now that I've arrived home I can see that Ben's car is here as well so you'll never know the tea might be ready when I go in <laughs> It was a not very eventful day, but at least I did vlog for the first day of October. And um, just to finish off this vlog, just thought I'd catch you up with some of the exciting things that have been happening. Uh, you might have seen, if you watch Louis's vlogs, uh, the gig um, a couple of weeks ago, or a week ago, a week and a couple of days ago. So I am driving up to North London, North East London, Dalston, for my gig and the others are going to join me later I think uh, Louis is going to give them a lift so Louis is coming as well and my friends from Southampton called to say that they're going to come as well all the way from Southampton um, so hopefully I'll get a good crowd tonight I'm really looking forward to playing with these fantastic musicians and um, I've been practicing and I think I've got a couple of good sets together and I'm just thinking about what I'm going to say in between the numbers and everything. And hopefully somebody will take some good footage of the um, gig and I can incorporate it into this vlog or hand somebody this camera or nick some footage off Louis or something. <laughs> so I've arrived and I found a parking place and just around the corner. So I'm going to go in and see if any of the other musicians have arrived. <laughs> Unsubscribing so that they can then resubscribe to be the million person. <laughs>
almost the same band. Um, I went back into the studio and recorded seven more tracks um, and that was on Thursday and I really should have vlogged that but <laughs> I think I've vlogged leaving the house to go to the studio. Today I am going back to the studio to record some more songs um, with two of the guys that were there the other night but a different drummer and the drummer that's coming to record with us wasn't free the other night but managed to get Winston Clifford who's a fantastic fabulous drummer and musician and that was just a great experience um, and um, I have booked the studio for the whole day and the musician for the whole day but I need to rush back um, to take Darcy to an open day of a college that she'd like to go to so it's just the life of a mother <laughs> juggling everything wife and mother and um, working been working this week and still trying to fit in putting into my parents to look after them so life is just one big juggling act all the time but it's fun at the same time we had a great time um, it, I'm really doing it on a budget this time compared to my last album so um, I, we did seven tracks between 11 and 3 o'clock or something like that so in four hours and we stopped for lunch for half an hour um, and what I did before and what a lot of jazz artists do is do um, laying down the tracks in two or three takes doing two or three takes of each song that you want to do and then going back into the studio doing guide vocals for the musicians and then going back into the studio and doing a super duper version of the vocals I was really trying to do the vocals as a like a good version each time um, I'm not sure that the microphone setting was exactly right I know that it peaked a couple of times so um, I had booked a saxophonist I thought it would be really cool to work with and she actually got stuck in Chile <laughs> because there was something like a pilot strike or something so we did exactly what we did the last album as well when the saxophonist couldn't turn up and we left gaps for her um, and so um, we'll probably go back into the studio together and she'll lay the saxophone tracks um, in the gaps that we left for her um, yeah so it's going to be fun so I think there'll be about 10 tracks on this new album I had 12 on the last one but that was quite a lot and yeah um, so I'm going to sign off here and um, hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more eventful and I can see that my battery is flashing on my camera so let's sign off see you tomorrow bye